Fine. A small topic in GK. That is history. Take it down. See, don't spend too much time in history because the syllabus is vast. Okay, they may ask you anything, uh, but uh, at least you should know the timeline. Okay, what is happening? Which year? Something like that. Okay. So history is divided into three. First one is ancient history. Then, then you have medieval history, and then you have modern history. Okay. So modern history. So which part is more important? Modern, modern history modern. questions will come directly. For example, Gandhi ji, Nehru ji, you know, Satyagraha, civil disobedience movement, something like that. From ancient history, art and culture questions will come. Okay, art and culture. And medieval history, sometimes they will ask you the battle, okay, battle of Plassey, something like that. Okay. So today we will try to do medieval history. Okay. So write down heading medieval history. Medieval history. And write down this sentence which I am writing here. Ghazni Gori Kutubuddin decided to travel in Indian Railway from Bangalore just after going Madhya Pradesh first got simple ice cream ok this is the story now look at this if you remember all these words all these things what is happening your middle list is over ok so here there are three friends who are these three friends Ghazni Gori and Kutubuddin Three friends are Ghazni, Tell me. Guri and Kutubuddin. Okay. Decided to travel in which railway? Indian I is capital. Indian. R is capital. Railway. From which place? Bangalore. B is capital. Okay. Now, they go to Madhya Pradesh. Just after going, J capital, A capital, G capital. Okay. Going which place? Madhya Pradesh. First bought simple ice cream. First, what they brought? Simple ice cream. Simple ice cream. Where do you get ice cream? You get it in a bakery. Okay, so what is the name of that bakery? Bacha bakery. What is that bakery's name? Bacha. Okay, so look at this. Kazini, Bori, Kutubuddin, Iltamash, Razia Sultana, Balman, Jalaluddin Khilji, Alauddin Khilji, Giyasuddin Tuglak, Mohammedin Tuglak, Firusha Tuglak, Bhagavad Khan Lodi, Sikandar Lodi, Ibrahim Lodi. Ibrahim Lodi had fight with Babur. Now look at this. Babur, Humayun, Akbar, Jahangir, Shah Jahan, Do you understand? So all the kings are here. So these are the medieval kings. Okay, so now in exam they will ask you a question like which king is called as uh, Sikandar Sahani, which king is called as Alamgir. Okay, something like that. Basic question, basic history will do it today. So I have written down the story. Okay, just revise the story what you have written and then we will start. Revise it what you have written.
Okay, tell me, Ghazni. India. Okay, from which place? Then keep talking. Okay, from which bakery? Okay, so look at this. Ancient history, you will study about Buddhism, Jainism, Hinduism. Okay, then you will study about Chandragupta Maurya. Then you will study about Chandragupta. Chandragupta is different, Chandragupta Maurya is different. Okay, like this, there is a lot of, uh, you know, uh, like ancient history thing. And at one point of time, from Persia, you can check in your world map. Okay, you can see Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan. Yes, can you see that? Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan. So from there, a Muslim king, his name is Ghazni. Okay, so his name is uh, Muhammad and he belonged to a place called as Ghazni. So Muhammad of Ghazni, what he did, he came to India and he wanted to loot India. Okay, he wanted to loot. What is the meaning of loot? Capture. Taking over. Take everything. Okay, now India's temple has gold, diamond. Okay, so a statue is made up of gold. So Ghazni wanted to become rich. So he came to India to loot India. Okay. So when he came to India, imagine if I draw like this, this northern part. Okay, imagine this is the northern part. This northern part was completely raided. He attacked India 17 times. Muhammad of Ghazni attacked India 17 times. So he is attacking here, 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 he goes to Gujarat like that. And now in Gujarat there is a temple, Somnath. Okay, there is a temple, a temple goddess, Somnath. He goes there, he plunders and he goes back. So the motive of Ghazni is to loot. Muhammad of Ghazni, he wanted to become rich, he wanted to loot, he goes back. So when he goes back to his kingdom, he becomes very rich. Okay, so the neighboring kingdoms here, the neighboring king, they also want to be rich. Okay, so what these kings they do, now they start attacking India. They come towards India to see what, how much money India has, they also want to become rich. So after Ghazni, there is a person called as Gori. What is his name? Gori. His name is Muhammad Gori. Okay, so Muhammad Gori is now coming and attacking India. But when Muhammad Gori comes and attacks here, already this part is looted by Ghazni. So there is no money, okay, nothing like that. So Ghazni is confused. So now what happens, here there is a place called as Rajasthan. Okay, so Gori, he decided, I will go towards Rajasthan, I will attack that place, I will become rich. So Gori is coming towards Rajasthan and he wants to attack. But in Rajasthan, there was a very strong Indian king. His name is Prithviraj Chavan. What is his name? Prithviraj Okay. So now we are watching a topic of Muhammad Gori. So when Muhammad Gori is attacking India, so the northern India was ruled by Prithviraj Chavan. Who is this? Prithviraj Chavan. Prithviraj Chavan. Okay. So he was ruling India, the whole that northern Rajasthan and those area. So now when Gori came, Prithviraj Chavan was very strong. There was a fight. And this is called as Battle of Terrain. What is this here? Battle of Terrain. So now in exam, they may ask you a question. Battle of Terrain was between which two kings? What is the answer? Gori and Gori. Battle of Terrain was between Gori and Prithviraj Chavan. Okay. So now, this king, Prithviraj Chavan, he was very strong. He defeated Muhammad Gori. He defeated who? Muhammad Gori. Muhammad Gori. So now Gori is angry. Okay, and he is upset. Now, Gori thinks that I came here in India to win the battle. I came here in India to loot and become rich. But this man has defeated me. So, he gets angry. So, now what happens? Gori wants to take revenge. Okay, he wants to take revenge. So, Gori decides that I will defeat Prithviraj Chavan once again. So, now what happens? Gori goes back during this battle. There is a lot of story like, you know, uh, what happened uh, with the Gori. Now, NCRT textbooks, they don't mention what happened in the battlefield, but I'll tell you, there is a story, a uh, book called as India, written by John Key. So, there, there is a story mentioned. Prithvira Chawa and Gori, they are face to face. Okay, and Gori, he is on a horse. And Prithvira Chawa, he is on an elephant. So, what Prithvira Chawa does, he takes a spear and he aims towards Gori and he, you know, uh, leaves that spear. The spear comes and it hits Gori and Gori fall down. Now, within next two minutes, this Prithvira Chavan, he was about to kill Gori. But an other soldier, he came, he looked, uh, he lifted this Mohammed Gori, he took him in his arms and he and everyone ran away. That is one scene, okay, which happened in this battlefield. So now, here there are two battles. The first battle of terrain was between Gori and 
Prithiracha. Again, after some months, okay, Gori, he decides, I will attack Prithiracha one once again. So, the same battle, battle of terrain 2, now it takes place. But Gori is confused, how to defeat this Prithiracha one, he is very strong. Now what happens, Gori, he comes to know that there is a relative of Prithura Chavan, his name is Jaichan. What is his name? Jaichan. Okay, Jaichan. So Gori, he joined hands with Jaichan and he says that, if you help me in defeating Prithura Chavan in the second battle of terrain, you will become the king of this whole northern India. So, and he want to just take money, that's it. So now what Jaichan will say? Yes or no? Yes. He will say yes. So Jaichan was interested. The second battle of terrain took place and Prithviraj Chauhan was defeated by Muhammad Ghori. Okay. So Muhammad Ghori successfully defeated, eliminated Prithviraj Chauhan in second battle of terrain. This story you should remember. And who helped him? Jaichan. Now who will become the king? Jaichan. But that is not the story. What happened? Ghori, he kills Jaichan also. Ghori kills? Jaichan also. Okay, and now there is complete, you know, rule of Gori here. So now here, look at this. Okay, this is imagine the northern India, and this Muhammad Gori is coming from this Persian uh, Mesopotamia and those places. When Gori is fighting battle here, in this place in his kingdom, there is a problem. When king is not there in his place, the subjects, the soldiers there, they revolt. Okay, they say that this is my area. Okay, King Ayagani, he is dead. Okay, something like that. So here there is a news by the uh, no, that Gori should come back and control the situation. When Gori wanted to go back, he don't want to leave this place empty-handed. So he, he is appointing some people as a governor, as a ruler. And now Gori is very uh, you know talented person. What he does, he will appoint some slaves as the ministers. He will appoint some slaves as the ministers. So what he will do when in, in the battlefield, imagine there is a fighting or war or something going on. What Gori will do, he will watch the enemy soldiers, he will watch enemy soldiers, who is the best enemy soldier, okay, who is fighting very bravely, okay, who is very brave in that, you know, uh, enemy's uh, battalion. So after the war gets over, he will arrest all these brave soldiers and put them in jail, okay, put them in jail. And after putting them in jail, after the battle is over, Gori will go and talk to that uh, soldiers, that I will give you two options, whole life you die in jail or the second option you fight for me. So now tell me what the soldiers will do. Fight for Gori. So like that, many slaves he converted into his trusted soldiers or officers, governors like that. So when Gori wanted to go back to this place, you know, India was handed over to a slave called as Kutubuddin Naibak. What is his name? Kutubuddin. Okay, so now we are going to watch a person called as Kutubuddin Naibak. The Buddha, I work. Do you understand? Okay. So he was a slave of Gori. Okay. Now from here, this dynasty, dynasty means rule of some you know, family, this is called as slave dynasty. Okay. So they may ask you following questions right now. Uh, slave dynasty, otherwise, Ilbari dynasty, slave dynasty, otherwise, Ilbari dynasty. Written? Okay. Now, in exam, sometimes they will ask you a question Who is the founder of slave dynasty? Answer is Kutubuddin Ayyubad. Who is the founder of Ilpari dynasty? Answer is Kutubuddin Ayyubad. Do you all understand? Okay, fine. So now, Gori, he doesn't come back. He doesn't come back to India. Kutubuddin Ayyubad is taking control and is ruling India in a very nice way. So, when Kutubuddin Ayyubad is ruling India, there are some interesting facts, interesting things going on in Indian uh, land. For example, Kutubuddin Ayyubad liked a saint. Okay, saint means what? Saint. Yeah? You know what is the meaning of saint, right? So, Kutubuddin Ayyubad, he liked a saint and that saint name is, write down, Khwaja Kutubuddin Bhaktiyar Kaki Khwaja Kutubuddin Bhaktiyar Kaki This is one person, not four person. Okay, name the bits are okay, but this is one person. I to bowling is a char saint case. Khwaja ek hai, Kutubuddin ek hai. Samaj mein hai? Fine. So, 
Kutubuddin, he liked this saint very much. He was a follower of this saint, Khwaja Kutubuddin Bhaktiar Kaki. And he wanted to do something for that saint. He wanted to build a monument. Okay, or Ninar Chinnama, if you take for Kalingar, they are building a pen. Okay, then for Thiruvalluvar, we have a Thiruvalluvar statue in Kanyakumari. Like that, he wanted to build something for uh, this saint. So, what he decided, he will build a monument. So, in Delhi, you might have heard about a monument called as Kutub Minar. Have you heard it? So, Kutub Minar was built. Okay, so look at this. Kutub Minar. Minar, Minar, Minar Tower. Minar means what? Tower. Tower. Okay. So, Kutub Minar was built by Kutubuddin Aibar on the remembrance of Khwaja Kutubuddin Bhaktiya Kaki. Do you understand? Now, in exam, they will ask you a question. Why did Kutubuddin Aibak decided to build Kutub Minar? On whose name? Answer is this. Okay. So, first question. Expected from uh, this uh, king. Next. Kutubuddin was a very generous king. Okay. So, when imagine he is ruling and suddenly there is a person, a poor man. He goes to his uh, king, uh, his palace and he says that I am a poor man. I want money uh, to build a house or I want money uh, for my daughter's marriage. Immediately what Kutubuddin Aibak will do, he will take you know, lakhs of rupees, whatever money he has, he will give and he will say that, okay, start doing the program, like that. So he was very generous king. So for this reason, he was favoritely called as Luck Baksh. What is his favorite name he favoritely called as? Luck Baksh. Luck Baksh. You can just remember that he gave money in lakhs. So lakhs means luck. Okay, lakh, Lux Baksh. Do you understand? Okay. This is one thing that you should keep in mind. Next, on the other side, he built Adel Dhinka Jobra. Adel Dhinka Jobra near Kutub Minar. Adel Dhinka Jobra. Written? Okay, fine. Next. Kutubuddin was an uh, uh, enthusiast or you can say his hobby was playing a game called a chowman. Okay, now what is that game chowman? Imagine there is a horse, on horse a king will sit, many players will be there and in between there is a ground and there will be a circle. Okay, there will be a circle in the ground uh, and there will be a dead goat, a goat without head. Okay, they will kill the goat, a goat will be there without head. So I have to take my horse, two teams will be there and in my hand there will be a long, long stick. A very long stick. Okay, so I have to go very fast. You know that uh, on the horse I have to sit, take that stick, insert into that dead goat, lift that goat, and now I am riding the horse. Now the stick is here up, and the goat is uh, goat body stuck inside that stick. So I'll be keep going, and that circle. You know that circle. There I have to put that goat. With that stick, if I do like this, it will hit the ground, and the goat body will uh, fall on that uh, inside that circle. If I do like this, you get points and. That is the game. So every evening, Kutubuddin Naibak was playing this game called a Chaugan. What is the game name? Chaugan. So one day what happened when he was playing this game, he was riding this horse very fast. And now he, you know, imagine uh, towards the chair, imagine this is the chair. He took the stick and he was about to hit that uh, goat. But that stick accidentally went to the ground. So when it hit the ground, it rebounded and it entered his stomach. And it came out from the other part of his body. And Kutubuddin died from the fall of the horse. Okay, he died while playing Chaman. So now, why I am telling you this story? Because in the exam, they may ask you a question. Which king died while playing Chaman? What is the answer? Kutubuddin. Which king died from the fall of the horse? Answer is? Kutubuddin. Yeah. Okay, so this is what is the uh, question expected from this. So when Kutubuddin Ayyub died, on his deathbed, his son-in-law was present. So his son-in-law name is son-in-law name is Iltamash. Son-in-law name is Iltamash. Do you all understand? Iltamash. Okay. So now Iltamash was declared as the next ruler after Kutubuddin Aibak. Do you all understand? Okay. Now let us have a revision of Kutubuddin first, then we will go on with Yudhamash. Tell me, which king is called as Lakbaksh? 
वो बिल्ड अडे जिंक जो पूरा वो बिल्ड वो स्टार्टेड बिल्डिंग कुतुब मीनार कुतुबुद्दीन आई ओके कुतुब मीनार वाज बिल्ड ऑन द रिमेंबरेंस ऑफ व्हिच सेंट राजा कुतुबुद्दीन बख्तियार खान फुल नेम यू शुड रिमेंबर ओके because today at least if you say khwaja kutubuddin bhaktiyar kaki next week kaki you will forget after that bhaktiyar you will forget by the time exam comes okay you will just remember khwaja i in exam a b c d they will give you four khwaja so what will you do okay so remember this fine so now when uh, this man dies when kutubuddin dies the construction of the kutub minar was just started and the rest of the building was incomplete son in law becomes a king Now Sunil Law says that I will fulfill the wish of my father-in-law, and he started completing the construction of Kutub Minar. So the first question here under Sitamash will be, who completed the construction of Kutub Minar? Answer is Sitamash. Okay, and Kutub Minar will keep coming in medieval history again and again. So remember this. So much better. So who completed the construction of Kutub Minar? Sitamash. Sitamash. Okay. Next, when Sitamash becomes a king, many soldiers and officers. Okay, our uh, army uh, officers they will go to the Eltamash and they will say, okay, I am uh, in this area, I am giving security, so I want salary. मुझे पैसा दे, salary चाहिए. So Eltamash says that I don't know what is salary and all. I will start a system called as Ikta system. What is this here? Ikta system. Ikta, I Q T A, Ikta system. So Ikta system was started by Eltamash. Okay. Now what is this Ikta system? Now Eltamash is telling that. those who are giving you know uh, protecting a land from that land whatever profit you are getting for example crops okay agriculture rice wheat whatever it is you take little and rest 80% you should give it to me okay that is your sir like that so this is called as ikta system iltamash started it okay next one more important thing when iltamash was ruling there was an international problem now what is that look at this carefully imagine this is your earth This is equator. India lies here. Above India you have China, and above China you have Mongolia. Okay, what we have? Mongolia. Mongolia. Capital of Mongolia is Ulan Bator. What is the capital of Mongolia? Mongolia. Ulan Bator. Maybe sometimes in exam they will ask you. Air Force related exams or GD exams they will ask you what is the capital of Mongolia. UPSC, NDA, CDS question they will ask you. Indian Army and Mongolian Army they will do one military exercise. What is that military exercise? Answer is nomadic elephant. What is that? Nomadic okay. elephant. Next, then I ask you, India and China, Indian army and Chinese army, they will do one military exercise. What is that military exercise? Hand in hand. What is that? Hand in hand. India and China, hand in hand. India and Mongolia, nomadic elephant. Okay. So here in Mongolia, there are a lot of tribes. Okay, look at this. Listen to the story. This is not. Uh, this will not be asked in your exam, but you should know who is going to come in history now. Okay, who is going to come in history? That you should know. So in this place, okay, in Mongolia, there are many, many tribes. The whole country is divided into many tribes. So this tribe have different language and culture. This tribe has different language and culture, and they will always clash with each other. And those days in medieval, you know, uh, some thousand years back, what used to happen here in Mongolia? Imagine I belong to a certain tribe. You know, when the other tribe men they go in forest. Some men they will go in forest for hunting and gathering and collecting fruits, vegetables, collecting you know some firewoods etc. Women will be in their home, okay, cooking food all these things. When the neighboring tribal uh, tribe people they came to know that there is no men there, they will go, they will take everything, food you know rice, wheat, whatever it is, uh, vegetables, fruits, everything they will take. And while coming, they will destroy the home and they will kidnap the women. They will kidnap the women from that tribe. They will come. And now they will marry, forcefully they will marry, like that. So like this used to go on. Now here at one day there is a man called a Chengiz Khan. You know Chengiz Khan. Chengiz Khan was here in Mongolia. He went to forest when he come back at the age of 25 or 30 when this incident happened to his life. When he comes back he realizes the neighboring tribe has attacked attacked his area and his wife is kidnapped. Now he gets angry. He decides that okay I will I will take revenge. So he starts searching for the tribe who has, uh, you know, kidnapped his wife and destroyed his village. So he finds it. He had a strategy. He attacks it and he destroys that second village and he gets his wife back. So while he takes his wife back, now he takes a revenge. He says that you have taken my wife, so I will take your wife also. 
So all the women are kidnapped from the second village. And now Chengiz Khan, after kidnapping, okay, he is getting married to all these women. He is, you know, he is uh, eloping, he is having kids like that. Now he gets interested. He thinks that wow, such an interesting thing. If I attack a village, I get food, materials, everything, and I get so many wives. So why can't I can do continue like this? So now he is continuing these activities. Okay, so he is attacking all this act, you know, area in Mongolia and Empire. It is expanding. But at the same time, he was very cruel, very very cruel. He will kill his enemy without even a drop of blood. If he decides that he has caught an enemy or a traitor, okay, so he will kill him without you know a drop of blood. So what he does? Imagine this is the hand and this is the leg. Hands and legs will be tied. Both the hands. Okay, bad. So if I tie with my hands and legs, you can see a gap here, right? So there a bamboo will be inserted. Okay, and the bamboo will be taken like this with the two men, and now the body of that person will be hanging like this. Okay, and because the hands are tied in the bamboo, right? Now what happens? Chengiz Khan will come. He will catch his leg. He will catch his chest, and he will start bending. So the spinal cord. What happens? At one point of time, it will break. Mm -hmm. So this is how Chengiz Khan used to punish his enemies. So one uh, one day there is a person called Jalaluddin. Jalaluddin he cheated Chengiz Khan. He was his friend, but he cheated. So now Chengiz Khan is angry on Jalaluddin, and now Jalaluddin is running for his life. So from Mongolia he is escaping into China. Ch Chengiz Khan is attacking China. Is coming inside, and now from China he is coming to India. Okay, so look at this. Imagine this is India. This is River Indus, and now Jalaluddin is here. And who is chasing this Jalaluddin? Chengiz Khan is chasing. Okay, so when Jalaluddin is here, the whole of North India was ruled by Iltamash. Who was the ruler of North India? Iltamash. Now Jalaluddin he asked help. Dear Iltamash, can you save my life? Okay, I will be grateful for you. Something like that. So now Iltamash thinks. Okay, let me save his life. But before saving his life, let me see who is the king who is attacking. So then he realizes, okay, it is Chengiz Khan who is attacking. And Chengiz Khan, when he attacks a village, he will kill every living being, cat, dog, birds, everything he will kill. He will bring all the dead bodies in an open ground. He will put all the dead bodies. He will burn the dead bodies. And after all the dead bodies are into ashes, then only he will move ahead. He was such a cruel king. So now Iltamash he realizes danger is not this man. Danger is Chengiz Khan. So now Cheng uh, Iltamash is telling, "Sorry, Jalaluddin, I cannot help." By the time this was going on, Chengiz Khan comes and he attacks and he kills Jalaluddin. Now Chengiz Khan is here in this Indus River and is watching the other side of India. Wow, such a great uh, land, full of lush green, such a rich area. Now Chengiz Khan is watching. They know how much area Chengiz Khan is about to enter India. But then Chengiz Khan decides, no, no, no. This king is a very good king because he didn't help my enemy. He didn't help my enemy. 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 So I should not disturb this area. I will go back. So now what happens? Chengiz Khan, who came from Mongolia, China to India, he changed this direction. When he changed this direction, after some years, he captured the whole of Europe, he captured the whole of Africa, and he captured the whole of Asia except India. He captured so in two continents. Imagine, he captured two continents: Europe and Asia, and half of Africa except India. He left. Okay, this is the situation. Now imagine if Chengiz Khan would have entered India, what would have happened? If Chengiz Khan, if he is entering India, what would have happened? Yeah, today we will be looking like Chengiz Khan. Okay, and now it is believed. It is believed scientifically. It is believed that 0.0001 percent of your genes and my genes it belongs to Chengiz Khan. It belongs to Chengiz Khan. Okay, now. This is this is one history and uh, scientifically they are proving it. And suppose if Chengiz Khan has entered India, okay, if you have entered India, this percentage would have been increased. Okay, in your genes and my genes, this percentage would have been increased. Do you understand? Fine. So this is a small story. Now the exact question is, which king came towards the northern India during the rule of Iltamash? They will ask you uh, Muhammad Ghori, Ghazni, uh, uh, Chengiz Khan, like that. So, what is the answer? Chengiz Khan. Chengiz Khan comes during the Iltamash rule. Okay. So, this is one thing. Next, Iltamash, uh, he had a very beautiful daughter and he raised that daughter into a different, uh, uh, you know, a different way. 
Because you know, see, Muslim rule, they will not allow girls to go and study, they will not allow girls to do any other activities. But Hiltamash was not like that. He he let his daughter to do some other uh, different activities like sword fighting and all those things. So now Hiltamash, he had a daughter and her name is Razia. Her name is what? Razia. Razia. So after the death of Hiltamash, we have a female ruler that is Razia. So now if you see the history, for example, ancient history, you, have, you will come across Ashoka, Chandragupta Maurya, Bimbi Zara, Bindu Zara, okay, so many people are there, all the kings will be male. For the first time in history, there will be a break and there will be a rule of Razia Sultana. So now in history, they will ask you a question, two questions they will ask you, both the answers are same. First question they will ask you, who is the first female ruler of India? What is the answer? Razia Sultana. What is the full name? Razia Sultana. Sultana. Who is the first question they will ask you? Who is the first ruler, female ruler of the India? India. Answer is Razia Sultana. Second question they may ask you, who is the first and the last female Muslim ruler? What is the answer? Razia Yeah, female Muslim is also same and female ruler is also same. Okay, so Razia Sultana. Do you all understand? Okay. So before coming to power, Razia Sultana had a brother, so he was made a king, but she fought and she came to power. Okay, now, Razia Sultana was a very bold lady. She will never cover her face. She will act like a man. She will ride a horse. She will do many activities. So she was like a get doing kind of girl. Okay. So now Razia Sultana wanted to appoint a person. The problem started. She ruled India for only four years. Imagine. Now what happened in these four years? Look at this politics. And then I will tell you what is the expected question in your exam. So Razia Sultana wanted a person to be a chief of her battalion. Okay, her, her armed forces. Her, his name is Yaqub Khan. What is his name? Yaqub Khan. Yaqub Khan. Okay. Now Razia Sultana wanted this man to be the chief of uh, the armed forces. Okay. But he was from a different uh, Muslim tribe. So the other people they revolted. Okay. So now there is a problem. Now here there is a person called as Al Tunia. And there is another person called as Aikin. Okay, there is another person called as Aikin. Altunia was ruling Agra. And Aikin was the governor of Delhi. He was the governor of Delhi and the whole northern India was under the rule of Razia Sultan. Okay, so look at this what happens. Listen to the story, then you can copy it down. So Razia Sultana wanted Yaqub Khan to be the chief. So she made this man as a chief and everything was going on fine. But these two people were not happy. So now what Aikin is telling, he, he plans. Okay, the plan is, he is telling to Altunia, Dear Altunia, you call Razia Sultan and Yaqub to Agra for a dinner party. So when they come for dinner party, what do you do? You kill Yaqub Khan and you arrest Razia Sultan and put her in jail. Okay, and six months I will rule India. Six months you rule India. This was the idea given by Aikin. Do you all understand? Okay. So now Altunia says, okay, it's a very good idea. So now Altunia is inviting Razia Sultan and Yaqub Khan for a dinner party. Now these two people, they go there. And according to the plan, Altunia, he kills Yaqub Khan. Now who, is, who will be in jail now? Yes. Razia Sultan is in jail. So Razia Sultan is in jail. And now Altunia, he is trying to uh, rule the Agra and he is trying to rule Delhi. After six months, I know uh, Altunia is going to Aikin. Altunia is telling that okay, six months over. Okay, now who will be the king? I should be the king. So give me, give me the uh, kingship. Now Aikin is telling, when did I say this? When did I promise this? Now who is cheated here? Altunia, Altunia is cheated. Now Altunia is getting angry, he is depressed. And now, when this is the situation, he is visiting Razia Sultana every Friday, every week, something like that. Now, Razia Sultan and Altunia, they fall in love with each other. Okay, they fell in love with each other and now they both decided to get married. So now Altunia and Razia Sultana, they get married. And now Razia Sultan is telling, okay, I'll give you one idea. We both will go and attack Aikin. We both will go and attack Aikin who is in Delhi. So Altunia is telling, yes, I am ready. So now they both come out, they go towards Delhi. Tomorrow they are going to attack. But one day night before, they are taking rest near the Yamuna river. Okay, so night they were resting. But at night time what happened? In that forest there were some robbers. Okay, 
So these robbers they came you know silently and they started attacking Al Tubi and Razia Sultan. They thought these two people are merchants. They have golds and diamonds. They are very rich. So the robbers they started attacking Razia Sultan and Al Tubiya. And these robbers they killed Al Tubiya and they killed Razia Sultan in Delhi in forest. Okay. Now what happened? Al Tubiya is left free. Now he is very weak. He is not strong. He cannot attack and all. Looking at his weakness, there is another person called as Bardhan. What is his name? Bardhan. Bardhan. What he does? He attacks this guy again, and he says that I am the ruler of Delhi. I am the ruler of India. So after Rasiya Sultana, who becomes the next ruler here? Bardhan. Okay. So now we are going to study about Bardhan. So what is the expected question from Rasiya Sultana? Only two. Who is the first female ruler of India? Yes, when who is the first and the last female ruler? Yes. Yes. Now we are going to study about Balban. Okay. Now Balban is called as Shadow of God. He gave, you know, we have a title for him, Shadow of God. Now Balban came to know that if the king is not serious, okay, anyone can attack him and anyone can snatch away his kingship. So he, from the day one, he pretended that he is the messenger of God. Okay, he told to the people that God has sent me here to save everyone. And now he introduced some systems, and he was very serious. He will never laugh in court. He will never allow any functions, anything like that. Okay, so he starts one system called as Sisdas. He started a system called as Sisdas, and then he started a system called as Paibos. Sisdas and Paibos. What does it mean? If a king is coming inside a court, okay. Look here. When the king is coming inside the court, the ministers and the officers they should come, touch the feet, kiss the feet, and then give respect. So that two systems were introduced by whom? Balban. So this is what is happening here. And now, uh, after Balban, there is no strong king. And after Balban, what happens? There is a person called as Jalaluddin Khilji. Whom do we have now here? Jalaluddin Khilji. Okay. So Jalaluddin Khilji now after Balban. He becomes a ruler of India. He becomes a ruler of India. So look at this. There is a new name in the Middle East now. What is a new name here? Kilji. Kilji. So now we will be studying about Kilji dynasty. Now we will study about Kilji dynasty. Okay. So before studying Kilji dynasty, let us try to understand what what we are studying in the slave dynasty. Tell me who is the founder of slave dynasty? Kutbudin. Who is the founder of Bilbari dynasty? Kutbudin. Tell me. Kutbudin. Okay, who is called as Nagpaksh? Yes, Sai Lakshmi. Jose Guru. Huh? Who started? Who founded uh, Kutub Minar? Okay. Who was the saint on his uh, on his name? This was Prince. Tamil Kumaran. Tell me. Huh? So, who is called as Pranjish Manavar Madhu? Varad, try Panada Okay. Huh? Tell me. Kwaja. Pronunciation on the region, you can become like Air Ram. Air Ram on the press point, he is Tamilian, but he can speak, he is a Muslim, imagine. Kwaja, Kwaja, you know, he can speak like Air Ram. Kwaja, 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 Dil, Kwaja, Kwaja. Who is that? Air Ram. When a Tamilian can sing in the songs, why can't a Tamilian can read this word? That's the question. If you don't have to break it, you don't have to break it. Do you understand? So come one step forward, then you get the success. Okay, come out of the comfort zone. Okay, next after that. Okay, uh, we have seen. Okay, which king died from the horse? Like while playing chow? Kutubuddin. Kutubuddin. Ayyub. Okay, who built Adai Dinka Zopra? Kutubuddin. Who was the next king after Kutubuddin? Ayyub. Who built the Ikta system? Iltamash. Which king came during the rule of Iltamash? Chengiz Khan. How many have you seen a movie called as Iridhi Sutra? Madhavan Iridhi Sutra boxing. That's why you watched it. Okay. That's why you watched it. Madhavan. Sir. How many of you didn't watch? Tamil. How many of you didn't watch? Yeah, Patla. My question is that. What you do? I don't understand. Student life life. What you do? What you do? What you do? If he is a boxing champion, so that movie is inside him. Correct? अंदर पाव अंदर पाव मूवी लाव अंदर पार्ट लाव लाए संडकारा गुंडी को गुंडू मुली लाव लेने वाला अंदर अंदर एक्टर्स हो अंदर वो हुआ इधर था शी इस मार्शल आर्टिस्ट यू नो दैट निकिता यू नो दैट एक्टर तेरी माँ द लेडी एक्टर यार 
மதம் மட்டும் பாத்தீங்கன்னா கோச்சை மட்டும் பாத்தீங்கன்னா ட்ரெய்லர் மட்டும் பாத்தீங்கன்னா அந்த ஆக்டர் பேர் என்ன சாம்பியன் சினிமாஸ்ட்ரம் <laughs> You watch her in Instagram. You know, day before yesterday, I was watching her Instagram post and all. All her postings are like actress madri kadya mix actress plus martial art. That is what we you, you have to follow. Okay, so tell me, other one day, Madhavan is telling about one thing. Changi's Khan madri panne dip dip thare adi dip adi dip na adi na. So uh, he says that Changi's Khan Changi's Khan will be uh, acting as he don't know anything, sir. Yes. And at last uh, he will. We find the minus point of the mm. enemy, sir. Mm. And at last, he will give it. Uh, yes. Okay. See, look here. You, when you become an officer, actually, uh, you should have that mental uh, setup. Ki ha, I am going to become an officer. So from there, I will get inspiration. Okay. So those are from Maharashtra. They will take inspiration from Chhatrapati Shivaji. Correct. Those are from North Punjab. Their history starts with what? Maharaja Ranjit Singh, Maharaja Guru Gobind Singh, Maharaja Tej Bahadur Singh, our guys are our Guru Kunna. Our blood, our food, our all. Okay, so the war is there inside their blood. Okay, so you should take history in this way. If you want to be a army, Indian Army, Navy, Air Force like that. Now, if you say that, okay, I want to be a scientist, you will follow Arya Bhatt, Abdul Kalam. Okay, so now what happened? Chengiz Khan, he will go with his soldiers. Uh, imagine hundred soldiers are there. He will keep. 40 soldiers reserve 40 soldiers hiding in one place okay and on 80 he will say that chalo war now the enemy will watch chengiz khan he will say that oh only this much we will win the war so enemy will have more confidence okay so these are these are all war strategy you should know okay so enemy will be more confident and now chengiz khan is coming inside and he will just do some war simply for name sake and suddenly what chengiz khan will say we are defeated chalo run escape from this place So Chengiz Khan will keep running from that battleground, and when he is running from the battleground, what the enemy enemy will do? Yeah, follow. Follow करेंगे. वो उनको मजा आएगा. अरे ये बाहर के अरे डर के बात रहे थे. अरे afraid. See, look at this. So now the enemy is chasing. So now the moment Chengiz Khan is entering, the other forty soldiers they are ready with bows and arrows. Okay, अब अब वो ready आएगा. So the moment the enemies are inside his territory, fire, destroy, and Chengiz Khan wins. Okay, so like that. Any theory I have, I don't know. I mean, surely Chengiz Khan uh, he will do it, and then he will win the war. Okay, like that. Next, you should know some things. You know, uh, if you take this SSB and all, it is all about communication. You know, every pacey, every handle, one regular. Other than that, one officer like quality, you become officer. Okay. So look at this. There is an incident. Uh, there was a king inside a palace, and that day many soldiers were uh, they went out for a vacation. Friday or Saturday something they were enjoying a party in the hill and he was alone sitting in palace and uh, there were some servants few servants those were inside the palace palace gate was open everything suddenly the enemy he came to know that this king is alone in that big palace that big palace can have hundreds and thousands of soldiers okay so the enemy got an information tani aata he is alone inside the palace come and attack and you get the territory so the enemy is coming with thousands of soldiers uh, equipped with you know all the weapons swords everything now he comes towards the gate okay he comes towards the gate and the information goes to the king who is inside the palace and uh, the servant says that king outside the gate there is enemy he is about to enter and he will kill okay so now king don't know what to do he cannot uh, call anyone for help right so what the king says do one thing open the gate keep my throne keep my throne in front of the gate i will sit here and let that so uh, enemy have face to face interaction with me let him come inside okay so any king is ready is sitting on his chair the enemy is coming inside enemy is very confident is coming very around is coming and now he is entering the gate the moment he is entering the gate he watches the so, uh, the palace uh, you know there is a king inside and he is very happy enemy is confused 
another idea I am going to kill. I got an information, no one is there. But he is sitting alone. That means something wrong. So now the enemy is thinking, should I go inside it or should I not go inside? He is thinking, see, doubt. How the enemy is playing in a mind, you know, like that. So now the enemy, uh, no, this king, he is thinking, should I step inside or should I not? When this doubt is going on, now this man outside the gate, he shouts. Do you know what is going to happen? I am going to kill you. The whole palace will be, you know, the whole kingdom will be mine. You better surrender, otherwise I will kill you. So now he is laughing. Inside the palace, the king who is sitting on the chair, he is laughing. Again, a mind game. And then this king outside the palace, he gets angry. And he says in an anger, he says that, Do you know, if I enter inside, I will kill you. He says like that. What is that? If I enter inside, I will kill you. The king who is sitting inside the palace on a chair, he answers, if. He answers, if. And then he starts laughing. Now the king who is outside the palace is confused. Oh, Appara, Narya soldiers in hiding hiding. Something is wrong. We will go back. He goes back and the king saved his kingdom. You understand? So, like this, you have another person, uh, you know, in lifetime, those who become army officers, you will read a book called as Art of War by Zun Zun. Okay, he is a Chinese, very great Chinese, uh, you know, warrior, Art of War. This is a Bible for all the army officers all over the world. Not only Indian army officer, all over the world. See, remember one thing, when you take this army, navy, air force, all over the world, they have the same system. A brigadier will behave in a brigadier way all over the world in the same manner. On the mentality of same army. Okay, their mentality will also be same. If a, if a major, one major in India, a major or a rank officer in America or Russia, they will have same mentality. They will have same mentality. Under mentality, do you have that mentality? You try for armed forces. If you don't have, what should I do? What should I do? Watch a movie, action movies. Like he watched a sports movie. You know, this is true. A very nice movie. You can watch it. Okay. Uh, actually, our school la curriculum are used particular. And the movie, in the bad, you know, emotions are there. Father, mother. Okay. That father, or sark bottle kaga, he will change his religion. Okay. Yes, no? Okay. Kartare, Isuwe, na, Abdini, Varma, Abdini, Dini, Dini, you know, like that. So, this is one thing. Fine. Now, go and check. Follow that actress, what she is doing. Okay. Something like that. Fine. So, Chinese Khan, you don't understand what happened. Person may come here. So, Balkan. So, first we have seen Kutubuddin, uh, next we have seen Intamash, next we have seen Razia Sultana, and next we have seen Balkan. So, who is called a shadow of God? Balkan. Balkan is called a shadow of God. Which two sisters were introduced by him? Sisters and five. Remember. Okay, fine. So, look at this. Ipo, Kutubuddin Aigot is ruling India. Kutubuddin Aigot. How do you know? The whole of India he cannot single handedly manage. So he is appointing some ministers in different places. Some ministers. If a Kutubuddin, if he dies, what is the possibility of this minister? What he will say? Now I am the ruler of this area. So when Kutubuddin died, here there is a ruler called as Jalaluddin in Bengal area. There is a ruler called as Jalaluddin. Jalaluddin in the Bengal, Orissa, I am the ruler like that. But after Kutubuddin, who is the ruler? After Kutubuddin is a ruler, You are under us, you are a minister, you are a governor, listen to the king. So Jalaluddin is telling, sorry, sorry, I did a mistake. Okay, I never managed it. So Iltamash is telling, fine, you rule properly, don't do like this, he forgives. Razia Sultana Arikundodhi, he is afraid. Because Razia Sultana is a lady, she can do anything, kill, okay, something like that. So she, he don't, don't do anything. Bhargam Arikundodhi, same. When Balban was there, Bar he was creating problem. When Balban died, here there is no strong person. So Jalaluddin says, now this kingdom is mine. So who becomes the whole ruler of North India now? Jalaluddin. So what is his name? Jalaluddin Khilji. Okay, some books will write Khalji and some book will, books will write Khilji. Okay, so this is what Jalaluddin does. Jalaluddin is ruling India for some uh, one years or two years and something like that. Now he has a competitor from his own family. Okay, his name is Allahuddin Khilji. What is his name? Allah. Okay, Padmavad Ruby, have you watched it? Yes. Okay, so now look at this. Jalaluddin Khilji is here. Allahuddin Khilji is here in Agra. Agra is here in Agra. Agra is here in Agra. So here in Hyderabad, there is a place called as Golconda. 
Have you heard Golconda? Yes. Okay, and here in Maharashtra there is a place called Dawladabad or Devgiri. What is that place here? Devgiri. Devgiri. Okay, both are same. Dawladabad. Dawladabad and Devgiri are the same place, same place in Aurangabad. Okay, and here, okay, imagine this is a mountain. So here, inside this mountain there is caves, okay, many things. So here there was a king and he was very rich. In the Raja Mandu, Romba rich, he has lot of money inside the caves, okay. So, what is Allahuddin Khilji? What Allahuddin Khilji will do, whenever he wants money, he will not go and ask his uncle. Uncle, 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 Raja, you are the king, give me money, he will not ask. Without telling Jalaluddin, Allahuddin Khilji will go and in the Dawata Bad, Sutti, okay. Dawata Bad, round him, what he will do? He will put barricades. And information will go to the king who is inside. He, uh, you know, he will say, "You cannot come outside. If you come outside, I will kill you." So now this king will say, "What do you want, Allahuddin?" Allahuddin says that, "Give me money. Give me cash." So he will say that, "Okay, take it." Now he will give money to Allahuddin, and Allahuddin will come back. So now who is becoming rich here? Allah. Allahuddin Kilji is getting rich. Jalaluddin is the king, but Allahuddin Kilji is getting rich. So now Jalaluddin realized there is a danger because of Allahuddin Khilji because he is getting rich and powerful and you know like that. So now Jalaluddin decided I will kill this Allahuddin Khilji. Allahuddin Khilji I will kill. So Jalaluddin is writing a letter. Dear Allahuddin Khilji, I am very impressed by your achievements in Devgiri. I heard that you have captured that and got lot of money. You take that money and come back to Delhi. Don't go to Agra. Come to Delhi. I will reward you whatever you want. Okay, we, I have arranged you uh, arrange a party. So this letter goes to Allahuddin Khilji when he was here. Allahuddin Khilji he reads, then he realizes something is wrong. Something is wrong. For example, uh, in WhatsApp when you are chatting, okay, maybe you will say uh, if you write a word goodbye. If you are writing in a happy mood. The person who is reading that, he will get that feel. If you are angry mode like oh, you are chatting with your mom, don't talk to me. Okay, don't talk to me. Sometimes when you message, even in digital message, people can understand that feeling. Yes or no? Have you realized it? Emoji Adana Vidina, don't send emoji at all. Uh, how are you? You say I am fine. But the people who is connected to you, they will ask you next question. Tell me what happened. Correct or not? Yes or no? So this is this is the connection. So same thing happened. Same thing happens here. Allahuddin Khilji he reads the letter and he finds something is wrong. And what he does? He takes this letter and he goes to Agra. And from Agra he writes a letter to uncle and he says that dear uncle, I am sorry. After coming to Agra only I got this letter. Konja delay You know when I was in Agra I got this letter. I'll do one thing. I am going to keep a party for you. You come to Agra. Okay. So Allahuddin Khilji is organizing a, a function and party in Agra and Jalaluddin is telling that okay chalo, I am going for that party. Jalaluddin goes that goes for that party and Allahuddin Khilji kills Jalaluddin. Allahuddin Khilji kills Jalaluddin. And who becomes a ruler of India now? Allahuddin Khilji. Do you understand? Okay. So now this guy is very interesting. Okay, Allahuddin Khilji is very interesting. So look at this. Now Allahuddin Khilji had a person called as Malik Kafur an army officer, his name is Malik Kapoor. Okay, now, Allahuddin Khilji is favorably called as Sikandar al Sahani. Right now, Sikandar al Sahani. Sikandar al Sahani. Get it? Okay, now what happens? I told you about Ikta's history. Iltamash has introduced what system? Yeah. Ikta system. Ikta, what Iltamash is telling? You are a soldier. You take whatever you want from that land. Rescue, you give it to me. But Allahuddin Khilji, he is telling, no, I will not do this Ikta system. I am going to bring a new market system. Now, what is that new market system? See, this is the central India. Now, in geography, you have studied Ganga, Yamuna, so many rivers, they flow here. So, this area is full of alluvial soil and agriculture is very good. The crop production was very high. So what Allahuddin Khilji did, he controlled all the crops. He told to the people, whatever one year you are getting, all the crops you bring it to me, it will go to the central government. 
and from here he will distribute to the kingdoms from here he will distribute to all places in india and whatever is the cost of 1 kg of wheat here in north india same will be the cost of 1 kg here in south if someone is uh, found the shopkeeper is found and cheating the customers allowed him will kill him okay so like this he was very strict guy okay this is one thing so now the question in the exam will be who introduced market reforms what is the answer allowed him market reforms allowed him kill him next now the soldiers are telling you are stopping inca system so what will i get so he allowed him kill him says that i will give you salary monthly salary he started monthly this much now in this money you have to say uh, you have to take care of your horse you have to take care of your all other expenses don't come back to me or come back after one month so he started giving salary to the soldiers in cash okay like that so these are the two systems next you might have heard about a king called chandragupta maurya yes, sir. ashoka then have you uh, heard about chera chola pandya yes, okay look at this down south down south here you have chola here in madurai you have pandyas okay pandyas and here in kerala you have chera chera the chera only in future this english people they cannot call it as chera they call it as kerala 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 okay it become like that and recently the kerala state has passed a bill to change the name kerala yeah it is kerala okay look at this now this three people will fight with each other the come three you know for example how many of you have brothers and sisters in your home two brothers three brothers something like that what will happen when you are playing carrom board game carrom board carrom board vela irukingla okay you are in this side your brother is in that side or your sister is in that side you are hitting with striker slightly came out okay and coin fell inside the hole what will happen world war 3 correct yeah car carrom board coins everything will fly uh, no fly so like that these three people they will fight with each other idhi enna idhi enna idhi this is mine this is mine like this they will fight but externally if there is a threat they will unite combine together attack the other person and they will win okay this is to happen now look at this chandragupta maurya was the ruler of north india chanakya all this thing you study in ancient history he came down south he could not enter the south india he got, he got defeated chandragupta maurya son bindusa bindusara is coming and try to attack the south he could not win it now bindusara has a son that is ashoka ashoka is coming down south he also could not attack and win this southern territory that is why ashoka he got angry now he is going towards east and east there is a place called as orissa orissa old name is kalinga what is that kalinga so ashoka had kalinga war and the rest you know what is buddhism and all this thing so what is my point of view the southern india was not captured by any king but here there is a person called as alauddin khilji alauddin khilji had a soldier called as malik kafur what is his name malik kafur so he is sending that guy malik kafur is coming inside he attacks the southern region he goes to rameshwaram he goes to which place rameshwaram even today in rameshwaram there is a place there is a stone on that stone it is written alauddin khilji malik kafur has captured this territory even today it is written okay so when these people are coming so you are listening to a story that king is coming what is happening like that but now you should give different direction ipo or king ulla varanga inga yaar muslim king a hindu king a muslim allah din khilji is a muslim that means when a king this people are coming inside what will happen to the neighboring people here the people they will think wow this people are so strong they are so brave so it is something new always human mind we want something new daily if i give you chicken 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 it will be boring but one day i prepare chicken biryani second day i prepare uh, chicken fry something like that pepper chicken then you like it in the same way here people will like this islamism they will try to embrace or they will say that okay i also change to islamism so like this islamism entered this southern india you understand now you see us say uh, if you see this kerala region and all now uh, this arabian people they used to come here then you know this uh, this southern goa region goa karnataka udupi mangalore then kerala region you can see some christians now why these people are christians because the vasco da gama he came here who came here vasco da gama before vasco da gama there was no christians in india 
Okay, there will be very very less. Uh, hardly you know, but now when Vasco da Gama came here, when the business started, now what what is happening? When the business is going on, the Christian businessmen they are telling, uh, you know, you want something cheap cost, you change your religion. So what Indians are doing? Wow, nice idea. I will change my religion. Okay, next, there is a person who wants to be rich. Okay, a, a, a Dutch person he comes here. Now what he says, I want to marry a girl. Okay, now the girl is telling, okay, what will I get if I get married? You also change to Christianity, you will get all the property from Portugal. Foreign chance. So, slowly, for the benefit sake, people are getting converted like this is happening. So, now in exam, the question will be, who is the first king to enter the South India? Allah will kill Jesus. Okay, so this is what is happening. Got it? Fine. And uh, did I mention this point? Iltamash. He completed the construction of Kutub Minar. Yes, yes. Okay. Next, take down one more point of Aladdin Khilji. He built Alai Darwaza. He built Alai Darwaza. Alai Darwaza is near Kutub Minar. Okay, he built Alai Darwaza. He built Alai Darwaza near Kutub Minar. Do you all understand? Why? Okay. So, these are some achievements of Adagu Khilji, then the rest of the story, the movie which you have seen, Padmavat. How many of you seen Padmavat movie? You can see that. Why? Is it a Padmavat movie? What do you see? Yeah. It's a movie that is 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 a movie. Okay, go to the other thing. Next, after Allah bin Khilji, there was no such ruler okay, who can uh, rule India. So comes the next dynasty called as Tughlaq dynasty. Okay, now Tughlaq dynasty, the founder is Giyasuddin. Giyasuddin Tughlaq. Giyasuddin Tughlaq is the founder of Tughlaq dynasty. Giyasuddin Tughlaq is the founder of Tughlaq dynasty. And here the most important is Muhammad bin Tughlaq. Muhammad bin Muhammad bin Tughlaq. And after that you have Firoz Shah Tughlaq. Firoz Shah Tughlaq. So these three things we are going to watch in detail now. Look at this. Giyasuddin Tughlaq, he is considered as the founder of the Tughlaq dynasty. He rules India for two years. After that, Muhammad bin Tughlaq becomes a ruler. Now, Muhammad bin Tughlaq is considered as the most well, uh, well trained and intelligent king, but he does two mistakes in his life. Look at this. This is Delhi, and here there is a place called as Devgiri. Just now I told, told you, Daulatabad. Right? So, once what happened? This. Uh, Muhammad bin Tughlaq, he decided, I want to rule the whole of North India, uh, this India, okay. So what is the center part, which is the best place? So Muhammad bin Tughlaq, he decides, I will come here, so that I can equally rule North, East, West and South. This was his idea. So what Muhammad bin Tughlaq decided, to shift the capital from Delhi to Devgiri. Examination question. Which king decided to change the capital from Delhi to Devgiri? Answer is Muhammad bin Tughlaq. So now what is happening? Muhammad bin Tughlaq told all the people, those who are in Delhi, shift with me to Devgiri. Some people were not ready. So one, there is an incident that a blind old man, a very blind old man who was not able to walk, he goes and requests from the public, he goes and requests to the king, I am blind, I am old, I cannot walk. It will take minimum 6 months to go from year to year and settle and start the life. I cannot go. Give me permission to stay back in Delhi. Now Muhammad bin Tughlaq, he immediately kills that man, cuts him into pieces. And now he asks to the people, anyone else don't want to come? Anyone else, those who want to stay in Delhi? That is a question by Muhammad bin Tughlaq. Now what people will say? No, no. Yes, they will keep coming. That is leadership during those times. So now all the people they come here within six months, the life starts, everything is going on fine. When this area was not protected, you know Chinggis Khan who came during Iltamash. So after Chinggis Khan, there is a person called as Taimur. 
Okay, there is a person called as Taimur Singh. He is the descendant of Chinggis Khan. Now Taimur is entering. He is attacking Delhi, Punjab, all these places. Okay, he is attacking all these places. And now Mohammed bin Tughlaq he realizes he did a big mistake shifting the capital from Delhi to Delhi. So he realizes his mistake. Now he decides that he has to go back. So now he orders all the men once again to go back from Delhi to Delhi. So, so once again people are going back. to delhi in this time what happens lot of money was wasted lot of efforts were wasted and now mohammed bin tughlaq faced currency problem okay so what he did he introduced a coin that is made up of bronze bronze coin token currency for this uh, no because the economy should function so he started printing bronze money okay but now what people are doing what they do in their home they have bronze vessels For example, for drinking, you have that uh, lota glass and all, right? What people are doing? They are melting in their home and they are making coins. Now they are becoming rich. People are becoming rich. Mama Mohan Tukla, he don't know what is happening. He tells that I have printed only hundred, but in economy there are thousand bronze coins. How it is possible? So now there is a problem. So because of this two system, Mama Mohan Tukla administration failed. Okay, it failed. Now, after that, what happens? After Mohammed bin Tughlaq, you have one more person called as Firoz Shah Tughlaq. Who is this person? You know, Firoz Shah Tughlaq. Firoz Shah Tughlaq. So Firoz Shah Tughlaq he comes to power, and then he manages the administration, economic crisis, everything he manages properly, and then he saves. Next, he is also called as uh, he is also famous for the canal systems in the northern India. Because of him, many canals were built. Okay, agriculture canal systems were built. Okay. So this is one thing that you should keep in mind. The next important question from Firoz Shah Tughlaq will be: Once upon a time, there was a lightning which struck Qutub Minar. Okay, so who started the foundation of Qutub Minar? Answer is Qutub Minar. Who completed the construction of Qutub Minar? Answer is Shirdash. Now look at this. When these people were ruling, there was a lightning which struck Qutub Minar and it got damaged. The top floor got damaged. Firoz Shah he decided to rebuild it. So he is rebuilding the Qutub Minar, and everything was fine. Okay, do you understand? So this is what happens after Firoz Shah Tughlaq. There is no strong king, and now here comes a person called as Bahadur Khan Lodi. Who is that? Bahadur Khan. Bahadur Khan Lodi. So now he will be watching about a dynasty called as Lodi dynasty. L O D I. Ready? Okay, Lodi. L O D I. Lodi dynasty. Ready? So okay. So before entering into Lodi, let us try to revise what we have seen. Okay. Who attacked India for 17 times? Yes. Who attacked India 17 times? Hmm. Mohammed. Mohammed. Ghazni. Next. Mohammed Ghazni. Next. Uh, Battle of Terrain took place between which two kings? Mohammed Lodi and Surat Chawan. Okay, how many battles of terrain took place? Two battles. Two, two battles. Very good. So, who is called as the Slave Dynasty founder? Ilbari Dynasty. Kutub Uddin Nayak. Who is called as Lakbaksh? Who started the foundation of Kutub Minar? Kutub Uddin Nayak. Okay, who died from the horse while playing? Kutub Uddin Nayak. Okay, tell me the name of that saint. Sisdas and Paibos, Bal Bal. Okay, who is the founder of Khilji dynasty? Jalaluddin. Jalaluddin. Who is called as Sikandar Ali Sahani? Alauddin. Who built Alai Darwaza? Alauddin. Okay, who introduced market reforms and paying soldiers in cash? Alauddin. Alauddin Khilji. Okay, next. Who is the founder of Tughlaq dynasty? Yasuddin. 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 
Tughlaq. Okay, which king decided to change the capital from Delhi to Delhi? Mohammad bin Tughlaq. Okay, so what are the two mistakes done by him? Shifting the capital and changing the currency. Token currency. After that, we are going to see what? Lodi dynasty. Okay, so what is the who is the founder of Lodi dynasty? Now, Balakar. Okay, so after Balakar Lodi, you have Mughal emperors. Okay, right. Another twenty minutes of class. Let me see. We just take a break now. It's four o'clock. If the power comes, we come back inside to class. ठीक है.